If you are just now turning 65 and ready to go on Medicare, or you're older than 65 because you kept working and you're getting ready to go to on Medicare at any age, your first question is, why am I so lost? Why is it only me? Why don't I know anything? Why am I unprepared? Don't feel bad. Everybody feels that way. Everybody feels that way. I take 100 calls a week of people that all feel that way. You didn't need to learn it until now. So give yourself a break. It's learnable. Now, the first thing you have to decide is where do I even start? Where, where am I going to get my, my basic knowledge? And so I made a Medicare workshop. It is free. It is on my website right here. Go to my website, themedicarefamily.com. Under the resources tab, it says workshop. It's 20 minutes and it will give you, it's free. There's no obligation. It'll give you an idea of when to sign up, where to sign up, why, and kind of how Medicare is structured. So it's the very basic information. You need that first. If you already feel good and you're like, I don't want to learn anymore, you can just book your appointment on our website with the yellow box. You don't pay for our services. We are free. We are licensed in all 50 states, wherever you live. And we work with dozens and dozens and dozens of different insurance companies as independent contractors. They pay us if you enroll in a plan. You do not pay us. And we get paid basically the same from all of them. We don't care which plan you enroll in. We just want you to be happy with your decision. So here's your decision. I'm getting ready to go on Medicare. Do I go with government Medicare and a supplemental plan? Or do I go with private Medicare known as Medicare Advantage or Plan C, PPO, HMO? It's called a lot of different things, but it is Medicare Advantage versus Medicare Supplements, also known as Medigap. You know, it's just none of it's, none of it's simple, right? So Medigap supplements government Medicare. So you'll sign up for Medicare A and B on socialsecurity.gov, and then you'll buy a supplemental private insurance to help fill the holes in government Medicare. And people are like, well, isn't government Medicare enough? I paid in my whole life. It's not enough. Let's say you need a kidney transplant. That could cost half a million dollars. You would pay probably at least $100,000 out of your pocket as your percentage of the bill if you only had government Medicare. So yeah, I don't want anybody only on government Medicare. There's something that will fit your budget. Now, the reason a lot of people choose a Medicare supplement versus going with private Medicare Advantage is because a supplement, which costs more, will allow you the flexibility to go to any doctor, any hospital in the country. There's no network, okay? Um, it gives you a fixed plan that these are your benefits forever. If you sign up and pay your monthly cost, they'll never change your benefits ever. So you have that stability in your rates. And depending on what plan you buy, the most popular plan is Plan G. Plan G, you pay your monthly cost, and then you have a one-time annual deductible. It's generally under about $300. So the other fork in the road you could go down would be Medicare Advantage. Medicare Advantage is private Medicare. So instead of getting your Medicare through the government, you're going to get it from a private insurance company. The government's still in charge. They still set the rules. You will get all the benefits that you got under government Medicare. And by law, you have to get a little bit extra. And so that's why you see TV ads all the time saying all the extras, the sun, the moon, the stars and puppy dogs and rainbows. People say, is that a scam? The way they advertise it was scammy. But yes, those benefits, the sun, the moon, and the stars, those are real benefits that are available on some plans. What, what's available where you live is based on your zip code that year. So if you say, can I get a food card? Can I get utilities assistance? Can I get pet food for my service dog? All these crazy benefits you might have seen on TV. Maybe we need to know your zip code to research plans in your area for that year. Because this side, private Medicare, that changes every year. Those benefits could go away. You could have great benefits last year. And then this year, they got rid of a bunch of that extras. With a Medicare supplement and government Medicare, that will always stay the same. You have that stability. Now, the price will go up. The price already starts higher. So for a Medicare supplement, it, again, it's based on your zip code, on your county where you live. People say, why does that have to do anything? Healthcare, it's for profit. The insurance companies maximize their profit. They know where they have to pay more because the doctors and hospitals cost more and they adjust the prices to you accordingly. So prices can be very different even within the same state and very different from state to state to state. So Medicare... Supplement Medigap is more expensive to start off with, and it goes up about 5 to 10% a year. A lot of factors are involved in that. 
if you can afford it, that's why I would love for everybody to at least start, hold on to it as long as you can comfortably hold on to it. Medicare Advantage, it's very popular for having low to no monthly premium. So you could have a plan with actually zero monthly premium. Again, it's based on the county you live, if it's available for you in that area. So you're like, oh, it's free. No, it is not free. You'll continue to pay your Medicare Part B premium. They automatically take that out of your Social Security and they give that to the private insurance company. You'll no longer give your red, white, and blue Medicare card. When you go with private Medicare, you'll only give your private Medicare insurance card. So you have two ways to go. Now I've done seminars on this that last eight hours at a time. So clearly I'm not gonna go into it, the full you know, differences in 10 minutes, but it gives you a good idea which way you want to go. So my question is, do you already have an idea where you wanna go? I, do you already? Because some people are like, yeah, well my sister has this and she loves it. And a lot of times that's what people wanna talk about. Or they say, I've heard about this and I don't want this. So I want to know where we're starting with you. What, what are you coming to me with? And a lot of people say, I don't know anything. I have no preconceived notions about anything. Help me figure out which way to go. So my question is going to be budget. <laughs> and I, I stopped asking people, how's your budget? Because everybody said bad. Even rich people said bad. So I stopped saying that. It's hard for me to ask you, hey, are you rich or are you poor? Or are you in the middle? Because then you'll always go, well, how do you define rich? <laughs> you know, if you're rich. You know if you're rich, if money doesn't matter. That's easy, Medicare supplement. If money's really, really tight, that's also pretty easy because you probably can't afford a Medicare supplement. So those two ends are easy. The most of us that fall in the middle, that's where it's tougher, okay? So the money's not gonna help me make a determination. Now we're gonna talk about your health. How healthy are you? And if you're really healthy, you go to the doctor one or two times a year, Pretty healthy, you're on a couple drugs, but it's a well-controlled blood pressure, cholesterol, you're, you know, that's like most people. Medicare Advantage can save you a lot of money. It's a potential savings because you won't have a fixed monthly cost. You'll pay when you use it. You'll have co-pays when you use it. And since we've established you're really healthy, you might not pay very much at all. Versus a Medicare supplement where you would pay every month whether you use it or not, which if you're healthy, you're not using it, you might not want to do that. So let's say you're on dialysis. Definitely I want you on a Medicare supplement because I don't want you to pay, which is typically 20% of every dialysis visit. I want to save you that. You're going to have less out-of-pocket costs on a Medicare supplement. Um, you're diabetic and you're uncontrolled diabetic with risk of amputation or macular degeneration. I want you on a Medicare supplement. So you see my point here? If you're really sick, seeing a lot of specialists, um, things aren't looking good, like things are unresolved, I want you on a Medicare supplement. Yes, it costs more. It's going to take a chunk out of your budget, but it gives you the flexibility to go to any doctor, any hospital. If you need to go to the Mayo Clinic, if you need to go to the Cleveland Clinic, you can go on a Medicare supplement. Typically, you can't with Medicare Advantage. They're typically not accepted there. So when you have a lot of health problems and things are not going well or it runs in your family, you're expecting it to not go well, can we afford a Medicare supplement? When you're really healthy, it's kind of an easy question too. It's like, you can go this route, but when you go the Medicare Advantage route, you might never be able to go back to the Medicare supplement route because you'll have to answer the health questions. I had a, a man today, he was 70 years old, and he said, I'd, I've had a Medicare Advantage for five years. I liked it, but I'm getting nervous. I'm getting older that I'm afraid I might need more care. And I, I think I'd rather have a Medicare supplement. Okay, how's your health? He said, well, I had prostate cancer. It's fine. They removed it. Radiation, clean bill of health. I'm, I'm good. Maybe, maybe not. Now we have to look at all the different insurance companies in your zip code and see all the requirements. Some won't take you with internal cancer within the past two years. Some won't take you with that past three years, some the past five years. It's all different. So I found five companies that said they would take him. But this is what we're continuing with. People always say, read me the questions. What are the health questions? It's different from every insurance company and those questions change annually. Sometimes they're more conservative, sometimes they're less conservative. So just know if you want to move from Medicare Advantage back to government Medicare and a supplement, you will have to answer those questions. And if you have big stuff, big stuff will probably preclude you from qualifying for underwriting for a Medicare supplement. But if you have a bunch of little stuff, typically you can go back to a Medicare supplement. If you want to learn more, go to our website. I have a lot of free information on our website, themedicarefamily.com. 
under Learn Medicare, I have a lot of information. You can hit the search tab at the top if you're interested in a certain topic. And under my resources tab, that's where you can go to my wet Medicare workshop. That's where you can see our calculators to calculate your penalties. If you might have a penalty or if you're rich and you might have the rich tax, there's a lot of great retirement guides. It's all free. Check it out on our website. And if you do need our help, you can book a free appointment. We're licensed in all 50 states. You know, never pay for our services. Just go to the yellow box on our website. I missed it already. And book your appointment. We'll be happy to help. If you like this video, you might really like this video. Check it out. And we'd appreciate if you subscribe to our channel so you never miss a great video. We put out one every week. Check in the description below this video for a link to our cheat sheet on Social Security and Medicare. And you can also give us a comment. If you have a specific question, always feel free to call us or email us at the Medicare family.